Hello and welcome back to Kendall Farm. Today we are going to be using our farm tech muck spreader and uh, the muck that we uh, cleared out the other day from the cows. And we're going to spread this on our field that we uh, over here. I just hop through the fence. Oh, there we go. Or the hedge. Uh, so we're going to spread it on this field here. Ready to be cultivated in and uh, ready for seeding again because our other field isn't quite ripe yet to harvest so uh it's september the third uh so summer is just ending and we're moving into autumn so we're, we're getting started on the autumn jobs uh so let's jump in the kramer and get this loaded up and we can then get spreading now I'm hoping this is going to be enough it should be but we'll see how it goes it took a couple of trailer loads to get it over here so that's in really park the muck spreader over here I think it's uh, it's a little bit in the way of the other side but if we're storing the muck in this bit here then it makes sense to me to uh, to put the muck spreader over here as well so when we're finished I think well, that's what we might do we might bring it back here and park it in this shed it should get sort of underutilized uh, but the whole reason why when we did the upgrade to the farm we added uh, concrete to the bottom of here, it was so that we could uh, use it better. It wasn't. It wasn't getting properly used. So I, I think it would be a good use of it to store things like that over here. There we go. And again. There's more here than there appears to be, I think. It kind of, uh, yeah. The muck builds up. Now, I don't know whether this will be enough to do, uh, whether one uh, muck spreader full will be enough to do the whole field. We will find out, I think. Try one more. There we go. And up. Don't know if this will go in. Right, there we go. We're full. Right, so we'll park this just back here for a moment and turn her off and jump out and jump into here there we go start her up we've got quite a bit of slurry in the slurry pit as well so we'll go and uh, give the grass a bit of a coverage in the next few days especially if we're still waiting for that uh, for that week to come right I don't want to drive down here because well there's not a lot of space I can just about fit the Kramer down that but 
What I really want to do is try and reverse the... No. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that. We'll have to reverse it out the other way. Unless, of course, I've now got everything stuck. Which is always a distinct possibility when I try and do these uh, clever things. Right, there we go. Yeah, make more work for myself. Oh, that's right, Virgil. Make more work for yourself. There we go. That worked better. Right. And we're clear. Good. Let's not go into the hedge. There we are. Tight little way to get out of there. It's uh, yeah, not as easy as the rest. Right now we could go in there, uh, but we're not going to because I want to start at the far end of the field. Because it's easier to keep track of what I'm doing that way. And we go and into here. Right. So, right, let's unfold it. There we go. And away we go. Whoa. I think that's checking out when you find out on the way back because we'll be able to see it on the ground. Yep, yeah, uh, I think so. Yes, there it is. Yeah, you can see it on the ground there. Cool. Excellent. Ah, and you can see it going down as well. That's good. It looks like we might get three or four... If we can get half the field out of this, yeah, there we go. Then we might be able. Right. To do all of this, but uh, we seem to be running out. Does not hold a huge amount. is to keep going. Make sure we can get as much of it out as possible across the field. Getting down to the last of it. Will it last until the end of this row? No. There we go. We're empty, I think. Yeah. We'll close the back door and we'll head back and we'll get refilled. There we are. 
And there we go. So hopefully, uh, well, I think there's probably only another one more load's worth in this shed. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> right, and there we go. In we go. Oh. Alright. No, we're not. Caught the trailer on the gateway. Oh, because the wheels stick out a bit. Right. It is a very tight gateway, that. Can be quite difficult to get in. Right. I'll just give the wheel a quick check, make sure we've not done any damage. stick out that far actually no I can't see any damage we're good and light tap that was our farm machine was pretty durable it needs to be with me driving it I don't think we'd have had that tractor that long if it had been pretty durable Good old track to that one. I really quite like it. There we go. load up. So I've also uh, recently heard rumblings of a uh, another farm coming up for sale. So we're going to go and have a look at that and see if it will be um, see if it's uh, of any good uh, any use. We're doing we're doing quite well here actually um, but uh, there's no ma there's not a massive space for expansion. So what we might do is we might see if we can uh, see what else is on offer and see if there's another one to uh, to add to the uh, to the estate um, as it is and uh, and yeah and uh, and see what we have uh, if it is good if it is. Um, uh, nice. We might add it to our. Uh, we might add it and and buy it and um, maybe we'll do some episodes from there. But uh, this may, of course, all come to naught. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will keep you guys up to date because I think it's. Uh, I think it's exciting times. The cows are doing well. We're actually. We actually seem to be bucking the trend a little bit and making money uh, with the cattle. And uh, and we'd be able to we'd be able to do it, so even even having just done all the renovations here, if anything the renovations here have helped us uh, to earn more and get more in, so yeah. We're going to go and have a look. And see what is out there. Oh, we are getting rather low on the old muck. Do not know if this is going to be enough to finish this field off. Right, right. I think we fit as much in that as we can. It might be. I know we have a little bit in the cow shed as well. 
Oh, there we go. Well, we've got a full trailer. There we go. Oh, I know why we didn't park this here this last time. Because we need somewhere to turn the tractor around. Let's just get this out of the way. Which is manoeuvrable enough to get it in here. Right then. Start her up. And then. I don't think we came far enough back, maybe. We might have. We might be alright. Yeah, we're good. Take this corner a little bit wide. Not that wide. There we go. going to go in here this time because we want to catch up with where we were and hopefully just continue on from this point here and off we go Out of the water, please, Virgil. Out of the water. So you can get the majority of this field covered with this. Seeing as we do not have much more... Spread. Yeah. That's about the right width. Gotta be careful. If I keep getting too close to that water, I'm going to erode the edge. And it's just going to become impossible. It's just going to encroach further and further onto the field. So I want to avoid doing that if I can. How are we doing? Probably a little bit too far over. Plenty of muck left. Good. Oh, yeah, we're running out now. Definitely do not have enough to finish off this field. That's okay. We'll get as much done as we can with this. I suspect that the cows will generate some more muck. Oh, ah, we're done. Okay, that is that. So, uh, I'm going to leave you guys here because I don't actually have any more muck to do at the moment. 
But we got we got a good covering of muck. Let's you can see it on the ground there. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna turn the tractor off as well. There we go. Close that. Uh I'm really all that remains is for me to say Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this visit to Kendall Farm. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, along with much, much more, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.